Hello everyone. Here I will demonstrate how our representative methods behave based on different challenges. Uh, this is like uh, I have used this uh, Visual Studio and uh, this is C++ implementation. As you can see, I have imported iStream and then uh, I have imported cb.h that is OpenCV library and accordingly I have used three methods to show the uh, difference between those methods to show the result uh, like uh, this is for adaptive learn adaptive background learning this is zip copy uh, adaptive question ma method and this is for fuzzy jogger integral method so this is all are coded in the format of OpenCV library and uh, finally this will show us the result of each methods um, like one by one so, so uh, like before I show the result let me go to the uh, background adaptive background learning method in this method uh, like first of all the parameters should be taken care like alpha value threshold accordingly we need to uh, fix the value numeric value for alpha and threshold to have better result further this will process in this format like uh, i would like to show the how the background maintenance is uh, selected uh, like here as you can see this code like here image for background frame is updated in this way alpha is multiplied by image input frame and plus one minus alpha value in, into image background frame in this way this is background is maintained and the uh, like for razor we need to do like as i said that there is absolute difference of image frame and the image input frame and background frame you can see from here this one image input frame in background frame this is storing the result of both absolute difference here so this is the basic like idea of absolute uh, adaptive background learning now let's go to our next method that is the COVID adaptive equation sum model in this method we also need to fix the value for threshold alpha etc uh, further we need to take care of the uh, different different threshold as you can see here low threshold high threshold parameters we need to take care of those uh, like alpha value gaussians and uh, further we can uh, update the background like from this uh, method uh, like uh, frame number as i told the this is the this frame data low threshold mask and uh, for subtraction we are using this method and uh, like after that this will uh, show the output for Gaussian model and let's go to the next method that is third method uh, that is a uh, fuzzy chocolate integral method here basically we have used same parameters like alpha learn alpha update color space threshold so here uh, like different different parameters are there but the threshold and of alpha that are similar but different values with different values as you can see from this code it has been like uh, formatted in different way so let me go to the fundamentals uh, where you can understand the basic things from here uh, what we're doing here that first we are calculating the similarity measures from here in this core method for color space uh, like sorry this is for uh, texture that is colored uh, sorry uh, texture features and this is for color features after finding these color features and texture features we are finding the integral chocolate thing uh, that is fuzzy integral uh, how we like this method is uh, calling this function and uh, 
after doing this we are just uh, like uh, we have uh, used the condition here and with the different condition we are running this function and uh, finally we are getting the results uh, so this is like simple uh, and fundamentals for our different course let me run this whole program and have a uh, look on the outputs so first what we need to do uh, first we have to build this function build this solution like so this will take some time to run the program after building the solution we need to debug this code like here I am doing now this will show the outputs for adaptive running background as you can see this input video I have taken here which like you can see uh, like here different this is cloudy, cloudy area over there and some like uh, uh, shaking like shaking leaves so you can say you can see and uh, make this motion make this are in motion so this is the final result that we are getting as you can see clearly from here now let's move to the near next solution different of election now let's move to the next method what we are going to have the result from other method so do comment here and uh, just it is you open the comment from here and again same you can similarly even uh, like here you can if you build rebuild the solution so this will take some now let me debug this so as you can see from here that this is showing the result of this input image a little bit that is uh, like more efficient from that uh, motion detection before I have used that method but probably you can see here some like noise are being seen here so that is typically a little issue for us now let's let us see in our next method how it is going to behave now let's have a look on the result as you can see here the different outputs has been uh, shown here that is like for different program mass depending upon the uh, different LBP like the actual output is here you can see here that this is showing the actual output where uh, we can see the uh, our, uh, motion detection is really visible and uh, noise is very less and uh, somehow this method is a uh, little bit more ap more efficient than other methods there you can easily detect uh, the foreground objects which are in motion so that's all thank you for watching this video uh, if you have any query please comment below i will definitely try to give possible answers to your query thank you